at 11 stone, or one pound, five ounces, taking part. 33 contests, 26 wins, 17 inside the scheduled distance, and just seven defeats. He's the two-weight, two-time champion of the world, the fighting pride of Margate, Takalu. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, when the black trunks trimmed with white weight in 11 stone and two pounds. 22 fight record, 15 wins, four inside the scheduled distance and seven defeats. Coming to you from uh, Hayes, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Lloyd Taylor. Time for the bell is Michael McCann, our referee in charge for the first quarter final is Mr. Mark Green. This is three, three minute round. Box. I tell you to break, you break quickly, you break cleanly, apart from that you protect yourself at all times, shake hands boys, let's go. You just can't write the script for these prize fighter tournaments, version number 20, the first live draw, the first time a fighter has fainted backstage. Who said these reserves aren't important, in comes Robert Lloyd Taylor, and he's first out of the hat and in with our old favourite Takaloo, who's got ten wins inside three rounds, he can really punch, but he has been knocked out himself, and what of Lloyd Taylor, is he prepared for this moment, Richie? Well... <laughs> He didn't look too excited when they're actually doing the toss for him to actually gain to the prize fighter here. But um, now he's, got, he's, he's in against the biggest fish in the division, isn't he, here tonight? He's in against Takaloo, who's a big puncher. So believe you me, he's got a box well behind his jab, and he's got to create that gap between himself and Takaloo, because Takaloo, although he's 35, Adam, he can still punch. He's got a lot of power. 36 next week, Takaloo. News come back to boxing because of his daughter who'd seen all his belts around the uh, home and uh, wanted to see him in the ring well she gets a chance as for Lloyd Taylor he's also been a little inactive of late was knocked out in just around by Craig Watson in this very ring a few years ago but he has got some victories on his record that makes him dangerous just overextending there Lloyd Taylor and uh, straight down to business. Takaloo straight away on the front foot. Just looking at that right-hand counter. He knows he's got to get past his man's jab here. Robert Taylor's got a long jab, he's got long arms. He can box at distance, and Takaloo knows that, and he knows he's got to get to him. He's got some skills, Lloyd Taylor. Just has had this stop-start career. Oh, as Takaloo has fought for a version of the world title. Took Daniel Santos the distance at the... Cardiff Castle a few years ago and it does seem Richie a long long time ago yeah it was a long time ago wasn't it but uh, and the results up until that point were very good for Takaloo a good one round win against uh, I remember is it Craig Dixon he beat and then he beat Anthony Farnell as well yeah Farnell had won all 26 in a row and Takaloo went into the Lions Den in Manchester and blew him away in a round remember the celebration with Jim McDonough will he be celebrating the 32 grand cash prize tonight, Takaloo. It's a decent enough start and tries to work Lloyd Taylor's body. Just doing a bit more, Takaloo. Yeah, and Takaloo knows he's got to get to his man and push his man back here onto the ropes. Taylor's starting to work well behind the jab, but if Takaloo quickens those feet up a little bit, that'll take him into range and he'll be able to uh, fire his punches off. It's the jab going, Takaloo. Little mark under the right eye. Lloyd Taylor, who I agree with you, Richie, looked despondent almost when he won the coin toss. And poor Nathan Weiss missed out, he's still a reserve Weiss. But what a chance for Lloyd Taylor, and he's got to go for it. He's got nothing to lose at all. And I don't think he was expecting to fight tonight. I heard someone say that uh, he didn't even bring his trainer along, so incredible. That's right, and Mick Williamson is going to perform that duty. The most famous cut man in Britain. He's being accompanied by Johnny Eames there. Maybe Johnny will do more of the talking. Mick can work his magic there. He's pretty experienced in this game. He was uh, very good last week in stopping those cuts of Jamie Cox. He's uh, an excellent cut man. And he's got the job here now. He's the number one man in that corner. But yeah, very experienced. 
you know, if you make him look old, you keep eating him. If you stop, if you stop eating him, you're going to let him start unloading his shots. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Johnny Eames is TKO. Jim's just a couple of miles away from here. Looks like they've roped him in. Yeah. At the, uh, you saw, you saw what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last minute. A bit more light on your feet with it, yes? James Cook. Corbett's 10 seconds. Famous trainer, was a very good fighter himself in his day. Seconds out, round two. Second round, first quarter final in prize fight of the light middleweights, the first tournament of our boxing season. Number 20 in order, it all started with Martin Rogan bulldozed his way through the heavyweights some three and a half years ago. Takaloo in those sort of multicolored trunks that we remember from Margate on the Kent coast. Popular figure, lovely guy outside of the ring. And uh, pleasure to see him back. How good is he still? The skills, the reflexes. Well, that's the problem he's got to, uh, tonight. He's just getting past that jab. But the one mistake that Taylor is making as he's throwing the jab, he's bringing it down too low. He's actually inviting the right hand over the top from Takalu. But Takalu just can't get his feet into range at the moment. The first round was a very close round. But Takalu has got to just step on the gas a little bit here and put this man under pressure. The pace at the moment is suiting Taylor at the start of the second round. Didn't fight last year, Lloyd Taylor. Got a win over Tommy Broadbent here in June. And made it 15 victories in 22. Body shots from Takalu, right hand from Lloyd Taylor. And this is the session that Wayne Alexander knocked Takalu spark out in one of the most uh, of devastating one punch finishes we've seen in a British ring over the last decade or so. Wayne Alexander just behind us tonight. Probably cheering on his old foe. Yeah, they're good friends, aren't they? But it was a, a devastating knockout. Some good work here from Taylor with that jab, and he's also turned it into a long left hook, and he's starting to come through now with the, one, the odd one too. So this is a better start of the round for Taylor. He's commanding this round. Neat boxer, being trained by Adam Booth over the years. Booth, of course, who's with David Hay and George Groves, one of the uh, most astute tacticians in the business. He's always said Lloyd Taylor's had the talent, not quite the belief. Takalu wielding away. A touch messy, and Mark Green, who's been uh, the centre of attention this week after the controversial Jamie Cox victory last Friday night, separates them. He'll be looking for an easier night's work, won't he? Yeah, I think, yes, he will, and I think he will get it. It was an awful contest last week. Awful contest off the referee, very messy. So we're going to tape loose on the left glove of Takalu. He's got 17 knockouts in his 33 fights. Takalu. I remember actually he fought on the undercard. When I, when I lost my world title to Marcus Bayer, he was having his 12th fight and he fought in uh, Telford, I think, yeah. He was in that mix with Alexander and Farnell and. Jamie Moore up in the studio, Steve Roberts, there are good days for the light middles. Here comes Takalu, he's brought plenty of fans up the A2 from Margate. Lloyd Taylor from Hayes in Middlesex. But Takalu has just been out boxed in this round, Adam. I think the last 20 or 30 seconds he's realised that, and that's why he's stepping on the gas a bit. But Taylor, for me, he won that round. Do you think it's one each? Yeah, it's one each. I had Takalu just nicking the first, but Taylor now has pulled it back all even. Okay, if you double it, you've got to let it go. Okay, I want a bit of urgency. Listen to me. Right? I want when you reach. Some good work from Takalu when he got on the inside, but just gets caught with a right hand over the top there from Taylor. And Taylor did well at the start of this round, and that's a lovely straight right hand punch. Good work from him. Well, Richie's got it. Dead level, all going into the final round. But other critics at ringside, I think, have got Lloyd Taylor winning both. So Takalu might have it all to do in the final three minutes. Bit of urgency, says James Cook, who seconds out, third and final round. Just needs to fire at Takalu. Certainly not the fighter he once was, and you know, you've got to start so quickly in these prize fighter tournaments. I don't think the other guys, whatever happens, will be fearing Takalu so much now. 
Well, they say a fighter never loses his punch, and that may be so, but what he has lost here tonight, Tackler, at, at this stage, is he, his footwork has slowed right down. He's just not getting to his man. Taylor's realised, and you can see Taylor now, he's actually growing in confidence as the, as the contest's going ahead. Yeah, Tackler caught there. Clever boxing from Robert Lloyd Taylor. Four years younger, just fresher. And he obviously is in really good shape as a reserve, and that's credit to the fighter himself. They're not often called these standbys, but wow, right at the beginning of the night, this one. Good left hook to the body from Lloyd Taylor, and Takalu just not getting in a rhythm. Yeah, and just before that, there was a couple of two sneaky shots on the inside from Taylor. Just picked his shots lovely there as they came together in a clinch. You seen Takalu just drop his guard, he's whipped in a little right hand, so clever boxing from Taylor. A few years out of the ring, and it obviously does affect you, Takalu. I know Jamie Moore up in our studio was sort of wondering whether to go back into prize fighter, but as we saw with Robin Reed and, and you know, Junior Witter and the guys, the older ones, it might not suit that this tournament. <laughs> Well, I believe you me, you sit back and you think, yeah, I could do it and I could beat him and this, that and the other. But when you get in there, the old reflexes have slowed down and, uh, yeah, it's a tough game, it really is. I think Robert Lloyd Taylor's done really well here, however the judges see it. To stick to his boxing, not get intimidated by the name of Takalu. And just get down to work. Here comes the Iranian from Margate, Med of Takalu Bigashi. The problem for Takalu, Adam, here, it's very, very scrappy. There's no real clean shots from him. The, the cleaner punches are definitely coming from Taylor, but he has to concentrate Taylor on, on just maintaining the gap. Takalu's doing his job on the inside, but he's just not landing with any, anything clean. Work rate, velocity, effort from Takalu. How much is landing? That's what the three wise men at ringside have got to decipher. Uh, nine minutes in which to assess close-ish these rounds have been yeah this is another close round tackle working well on the inside but again it's very scrappy are the punches getting through taylor comes through with the odd shot and it makes tackle's head goes back but there's that right hand that taylor's got to watch out for from tackle lovely shot from tackle who said he would walk through this lot they're not in his league but it's been a tough start for him and has he fallen at the first hurdle or has he done enough maybe in the first and the final rounds interesting one it's close it's tight who's got it tackle doesn't look happy neither does james cook and robert lloyd taylor in the other corner i think relieved <laughs> to get through the nine minutes after i think he'd probably have a rest for an hour or two <laughs> yeah certainly well but he did well over um, taylor in that contest it was a close it could have gone either way one punch in it on the computer in thrown and two in landed you really couldn't argue with this one it might be split it might go to the referee for the casting vote and poor jj bird meanwhile the uh, prize fighter that trained so hard who fainted backstage afterwards is sitting in the front row looking a forlorn figure you've got to feel for him as well in this fascinating yeah. night yeah but most definitely but the decision had to be made and it was the right decision because if a, if a boxer is feeling faint before a contest believe you me he should not box no matter what he says afterwards it was the right decision to pull him out the agonizing wait to see whether you advance to the semi-final there he is jj bird and uh, i know jamie moore went to have a word with him after he got the news from the board who rightfully richie pulled him out but has this man lloyd taylor got through to the semi what do you reckon this, is, e this is either way it really is but i'm going for taylor i think two rounds to one for taylor we had one controversial moment when they didn't get it right so they have to make sure everything is perfect and spot on i think we've got it now thank you ladies and gentlemen the result of quarterfinal number one and we have a split decision. Ian John Lewis scores a contest 29-28 in favour of Takaloo.